Lola27 here. I'm going to review the new 50th anniversary Storm Shadow. It just came in a two pack with uh, Spirit. Uh, this is by far my favorite of all the uh, Storm Shadows that were ever made. Uh, this is based on the second uh, Storm Shadow, which in the history of G.I. Joe, that was when uh, Storm Shadow became a good guy. And this one has some really cool uh, camouflage with it. There are a few other versions of this. Uh, figure, what was in the, uh, the ROC line, which you can see it's kind of loosely based off of, but he's more still a Cobra, and then um, of course they did make one in the 25th anniversary line, but now that you have this beautifully styled sculpt of the figure, this one just becomes obsolete. Uh, some things I am going to do to improve this figure, or at least uh, fix him a little bit, I am going to lower his his head on his neck. It does seem to hang a little high up there. Um, I'm also going to give him a different rope. Uh, this, this one comes kind of loose on him. Other than that, I, and I with the belt too, I'm going to have to find, figure out something for the belt. Uh, the original figure in the EO ring style did have a, a white belt with pouches on it. A little bit better. But I love the styling on this. I'm so glad to have her actually listen to the fans and, and brought us this, this really great figure. Mine actually came with um, a few different file cards in several different languages. All of them, for some reason, they. Actually, yeah, they're all in different languages. I and mean, some of them, they still say what's interesting is they don't. Tell you his real name is classified, and yet they tell you that he comes from a clan of ninja. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I definitely uh, think this is one of the best figures that I've seen of the 50th line. Um, another interesting thing is that this has a they say he's a cobra in this one, but obviously he's definitely a Joe. Um, another thing too that's kind of weird is that he comes with his bow, but he's got nowhere really to put his his arrows. Um, accessories do, do come off here. They did make this backpack before the 25th line. Uh, actually, it came with um, Kamakura, his uh, sword brother's apprentice, Snake Eyes' apprentice. Open up here. You can put accessories in there if you wanted. Uh, nice red styling, reminiscence of the, the O ring style. And actually, the ropes right here, these actually will pop right off. The swords come out, the dragon. Game. That's you right there. You see again, you can see that this rope is way too flimsy on him. So all I'm going to do is there's actually a rope that came with one of these Storm Shadow versions that I'll, uh, I'll put on. It's a little more realistic looking. It's a little more brown. But overall, I definitely would give this figure at least a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the only thing that, that holds me back from being a 10 is again, it's just the not, you know, make a hole for this or, so, or something to put the, the arrows in. Everything should be able to fit on them all at the same time. But other than that, just a beautiful figure. Really well sculpted and I highly recommend this figure. Um, it's available right now at Toys R Us and Big Bad Toy Stores. Um, so get them while they last and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get this fine figure in your collection. Thanks. Again, this is Little Light 27 and make sure to like, like and share my, uh, my video. 27 here. Just wanted to come back and show you a couple improvements I made to the figure. I went ahead, I took took the red backpack off, replaced it with the quiver, and I uh, took the um, strap that comes on the 25th version. There. I took the, the rope that came on that one, and I replaced the, the black rope uh, with that on his chest there. 
Uh, the belt, I'll have to figure out a good replacement on that. Um, so another thing I forgot to mention is so the lower legs, I believe, are a brand new sculpt. Um, just where the bamboo shoots are. I haven't seen those before. And of course those lower arms are, are a new, new sculpt as well. And the head as well. Um, is another thing that, that's brand new for this figure. As you can see you know, on the on the, on the my fifth version, the head was pretty small compared to what it looks like now. Another cool thing that I, I discovered as I was putting the figure together was that this bow it actually has like a it actually has a black on it. Which I had no idea what that did. I thought I was breaking it. There was this little plug that's on the, on the middle here, and it actually moves. So you can uh, come apart like that. And put it right back together. Some of those great details that have put this together for these figures. It's amazing, you know, these are, to be able to get a figure like this for under $15, it's pretty, pretty special. I do hope that this line does carry on for future generations, especially for our kids. But yeah, G.I. Joe is definitely here to stay. Feel free to uh, like my, my video and uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know. I will like 27. Happy to talk and uh, enjoy the action. Thanks.